Hi, we've seen in the previous video how a certain vector artwork can be used as the background for our main poster. Now that we have that basic illustration, we have to start putting in the details that actually compose the information on the poster. If you remember correctly, we had information on the headline, that is the title of the exhibition, where the exhibition is held, the date, the time and the manner in which tickets can be booked for each of it. So getting this basic information in place as well as adding details that pertain to all of it are things that will necessarily help us. So in this video, I'm going to assemble the final details of this poster and show it to you digitally how the final result will look. But the final result is actually something that has to be printed and assembled. Right now, what we are going to do is how these digital details are put together. Let's take a look. Now, when we try to when we try to see how to design this poster, we basically had an illustration as the background of this particular brief. That is, when we've looked at this composition, we've created the background visuals for all of this using this concept that we had developed earlier. Now, what we're going to do is go a little further by adding the copy, the details, the QR code, putting all of the messaging in and including the small details such as this woman's illustration into this poster. Let's see how that can happen. Sometimes we may need to switch between two softwares for this, either an illustrator or a Photoshop. So let's see how that can be achieved. Hi, now as far as the previous work that we've seen, we had basically stopped over here in our explorations. Now some basic information has to be put into place which is your heading, subheading and all the other necessary info. So for the time being what I am going to do is just dump information into this. This is our heading. I am simply going to dump information and take care of the details of each of these things later which is the arrangement, the font, the form. I'll just make it big so it is prominent. Something. Now as per our thumbnail, our subheading was over here and the other details were in these three boxes. So. Let this come over here. This is the location. Just temporarily I'll reduce the size to 21. I'm not going to even look at color, all those details, etc. Now that this text is here. So one more thing that we will need <coughs> is the QR code which means let's just say I'll put a random line scan to purchase tickets I'll put that here and we have to import a QR code so I will go to file place in my downloads, I have a QR code that I have found. So I want to put that QR code here temporarily. This exercise is only one of dumping information. We are not really looking at how good it looks, how bad it looks, all of that. We will correct it later. In the center, I want something. So what I will do is I will also place another image. 
This is an image of an art gallery which I found and I think our Vikas art gallery which is the location will also be very similar to this. So for now I'm going to put that over here. Now this can be made by Tintal. This is fine as it is black but I can increase the stroke. this something in one line <clears throat> now in our artwork we had something over here so this eye can become a frame for something so I will try and place an artwork inside this Now when I look at layers, This method is not really working out. So what I will do is go back to the basics. I'll crop it this much and leave it at that. I might potentially change all of this later. So now that this is in place, let us try and export this so that I can try this out in Photoshop. First I'm going to move these layers out. I'll move the eye into layer 5 instead and I can just hide this. So now all of the add-ons that I did can be hidden. Let me export this so that I can use it in Photoshop. Now I will use a PNG. In Photoshop, I am going to go to create a A3 size poster, which is the same as what we first did. Now once I am here, I am going to place an image. Which is this base image. The whole thing got exported including the rest of the eye, which is not a bad thing. So let us first put it in its appropriate position. Now that this is in place, <coughs> go to layers. Now Photoshop has 
several things that we can do very cleverly which is when we are here on layers i can basically create a new layer let me duplicate this layer so i can manipulate it and let me rasterize this rasterizing a layer means i can make it editable otherwise if you see this chain icon over here it basically means it's linked to the original image so i can't edit it freely so i'm going to save this now the good part about working with layers is whenever you create a layer you can always make a duplicate of it so that your old work is still there if you don't like what you have done in your new layer you can always go back to the old layer now that this is in place i'm going to try and add the imagery that i wanted to include so i am going to again place the portraits that i collected which i feel would be a good addition to this this is one portrait so i am just going to place them for now i will place another portrait and based on how appropriate they are let us see where they make sense this is the second one all right now in my layers i am going to hide this portrait i feel out of all my portraits this portrait makes better sense in the center so to identify that i am going to first duplicate this hide rasterize and now i'm going to reduce its opacity when i reduce its opacity i can see what's in the background so you can see how this woman's uh, scarf is basically arranged like that i want all of that to be seen inside the eye so i'm going to make sure that it is arranged in such a way that those parts are fully seen inside the eye <clears throat> now that this is the way it looks i'm going to take this opportunity to use the eraser tool and by selecting this layer i'm going to get rid of the unnecessary portions i can erase this off or the smarter option would be to select i'll select delete select delete now if you notice the eye comes like this cutting across her hand and the rest of her body is still coming out this way so that's not really a bad thing for us now i'm going to duplicate this command d to deselect i'm going to duplicate this again just to save this layer for future use hide now let me make this full opacity so this is over here maybe i can reduce the size a little more and i can decide if i want to cut down this much so now that i'm able to erase so much of her face i have to now clean this up a little more now once again what i will do is reduce opacity so that these corners of the eye are seen now i'm going to use the polygonal tool to work out this corner see from here basically there's a curve so from here there is a curve this has been achieved now i can go with the shape of the sari and give this a little more shape in the sense i can take this approach of following the curve of a sari to make sure that this looks like a deliberate choice and not a mistake and i can also do the same here 
Now let's take a look at how this looks at 100% opacity. Now I like the result that this has given but this is disturbing me. So what I'm going to take is I'm going to take an eraser and I'm going to slightly clean up the curve. So that the curve looks more deliberate and not accidental. But now that we've achieved so much, what bothers me is the fact that her skin color and this color is slightly different. So what I can probably do is maybe take, <clears throat> I can probably go to, I can duplicate this. Whenever you're making a ma massive change, it's always better to duplicate your layers so that you always have a backup. So now I'm going to image I'm going to go to adjustments, I'll find hue and saturation. Hue and saturation is where some properties of the image can be adjusted. Like see, I can make it more reddish or I can make it lighter. I can increase the saturation so it is closer to the color of the poster. These are all things that I can do to make this more and more impactful. Now I'll probably have to make slight adjustments so that the color matches. I can't colorize it. This is the closest right now. So in order to make this a little clearer, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce an opacity and when you get really close, you can see these discrepancies. So I'm going to clean that up slightly. So that it looks like all of this is a deliberate choice. Here also, now I can probably make the opacity 100%. Clean up the curve of her sari. Now this looks a little more deliberate. I can also clean up all these stray details so that it doesn't look like a mistake. And all of this looks like a conscious choice. Now, what we've done in this poster is some kind of inception. That is, a woman's face and inside the eye, there's more of an eye. So now, what I can do is go to the second painting. I wanted to have something in this rectangle, indicating a certain degree of welcome. So maybe I can put this painting in that rectangle. But I can't resize it so recklessly. This was the original frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rasterize this also and using the dotted line to get rid of the unnecessary sides in order to crop this now it looks like women are actually welcoming us to this presentation so here we are now if i have to put information in this you'll notice that some places are going to be darker in color which is difficult because when you have to put something like a qr code that's not a very good thing so instead we will make this light, we will fill it with a lighter color. I'll take my brush and 
and the color chosen will be white strange For the sake of uniformity, I can turn this also into a darker color. Oops, sorry, white. Now that this is in place, I have changed basically the base image for my entire artwork. Now I'm going to try and export this. Now what I will do is now that I am here, this is now black. So in order to help make these adjustments, there seems to be an issue with the size. Let's try and make sure that it matches nicely. I'm going to crop this image. the second one I'm going to crop this also only to the bottom which we have adjusted In Illustrator, it is okay to extend the bound of this black border because what that means is basically it will give you room to add on to all of the details that you have and not have any white borders that look very unsightly. So we will delete this. And now what I'm going to do is work on the type. I don't like re I don't really like this type. So what I'm going to do is try and find other fonts which are much more suitable. I 
A slightly rounded font would also be a good idea given his style. A wide font is also better because of how his style looks. Handwritten is not such a good idea. Serif is not such a good idea. Din condensed bold is one option. Gilsons. Let us get rid of this stroke so we have a proper understanding. Railway Skia. Skia is slightly handwritten. This is an interesting looking font. Euphemia, Herculaneum, Kohinoor Bangla. Complex Monaco Noteworthy. So, this is a calligraphic exercise, so it should make sense that our choice of font should also be a little calligraphic. Papyrus Sample. Devanagari Siloam Sukhambit Rajan Rakatalo is actually interesting what if we use this font reduce the size to 58 now it looks slightly old style maybe i can make this 54 even lesser so now i don't mind that this is actually a serif font but here the subheading can be something different i can maybe make this Bodoni because it's a slightly old style font. Tratatello, no, Tratatello is too complex. Copper plate, Dido. It's better to have a sans serif, although serif looks really good at first sight. It's probably better to have sans serif because of the ease of readability. Herculaneum, Helvetica. Let us stick to a standard font for now. We will make this instead of the thickness, let it be bold. Now, when the heading is like that, it's not okay for the subheading to be like this. So, so now that this is the subheading. Let me change the size. Hmm. 
make this 24 instead so as colors go even though this black works maybe this can be a blue and here we have our basic text which is your whole kasart gallery jazz so this can again be <clears throat> the name of the gallery needs to be bigger so let that be we have used lato up there so here i'm going to use lato bold and obviously edit the size of this box Now what is actually a little bothersome for me is the fact that these white patches are taking a lot of attention. So maybe I can actually reduce the intensity of this blue and see if that helps. So this red had actually helped reduce the intensity of this blue. So I'm going to make this a dark tone instead. And let this be white. Maybe this can just become white. And the text can be So needs to have a change in the font, which is plateau and italic.
Now with this my basic poster is in place. What we will now do is export it to see how this actually works. I'll go to the next car. Finally, this is our final poster. What we will now look at is understand the merits and demerits of this poster and then see whether this is the most appropriate way of doing things or not.